Um, this is a quick um, video that we've put together to try and show the basics of how to use Captivate. Um, to speak over the um, whatever you create, you need one of these headset things and it just plugs into where the USB goes. So hopefully you can hear us and it'll sound alright. Just pass it to me. Hello. Um, so Rachel's did a, s a smashing job with this video, it's great, um, and she's, as you'll find out, she's recorded audio for it on the headphones, um, I know quite a few people are concerned about that and don't want their voice to be recorded for posterity, which is understandable, because I don't like it either, um, so if you really don't w want to do that, then, you know, you don't have to, that's what the, the captions are for, and you'll find out about them as well, but if you do want to use the audio, then it's really good if you do, because it makes it more interesting. Um, that's about it. You can watch the video now. <laughs> to open Captivate, go to the Start menu and then just click on the program. When it opens, you'll see this screen and the best thing to do when you're starting from scratch and you're going to create um, a resource which has got different things in it so um, if you want to have a video but also insert a powerpoint slide then the best thing to do is um, just select blank project okay so the next thing that um, you should see is um, this box which is asking you what size you want the final um, project um, that you create to be. So you have all these different options. You can just choose their custom one if you like, um, but I'm going to choose the YouTube one because I'm going to upload this to YouTube eventually and we're going to have a few different things in and I want the resolution to be quite high, but it doesn't matter. And then um, the blank project's open and ready to go. You should notice it looks a little bit like PowerPoint. And there, the first slide there is um, just a blank slide ready to go. And then the next thing to do is to decide what um, elements to populate the project with. <laughs> 